Welcome to the SACCORD SNL Part C database browsing tutorial. In this tutorial I'll explain a bit about what the SNL Part C is, how you can set up an SNL Part C database in SACCORD, and show you the kind of information you can retrieve from this database. The ITU Space Network List, or SNL for short, is a list of basic information concerning planned or existing space stations, earth stations, and radio astronomy stations. It includes sections on advanced publication information, coordination requests, notifications, plans information, and their related processing backlog. The SNL Part C contains information on pending networks, i.e. those which the Bureau has received but not yet published. You can find out more information on the SNL by visiting the ITU SNL website, a link to which is provided in the description below this video. So back to SACCORD. The first step in using the SNL Part C database is creating the database. To either create a new SNL Part C database or to update an existing database, we need to click on the Tools menu item and select Options from the drop down menu. From the Options tab, choose the Browse Database options and then press the Update SNL Part C database button. This will retrieve the most recent SNL Part C information from the internet and either build a new SNL Part C database or update an existing SNL Part C database with this information. It's a good idea to update this frequently, so before you do any SNL Part C searches you should try to remember to update your SNL Part C database. Now once we have updated the database we can go to Browse and then SNLC and this will open an SNL Part C database browsing tab from which we can investigate the database. On the right hand side of the screen are a number of searches giving us information from the SNL Part C database. For example we can see the IFIC number, a particular piece of as received information is published on, the IFIC date, the administration associated with the information, etc. You can get more information on a particular search by selecting it and then pressing the F1 key. For example here we can see the help associated with the admin search. You can see its default name, its default location in the search tree, the table and field name of the search in the SNL Part C database, the format of the field, and a description of the field. Lastly, for some fields, you can also see the potential values. If we click here, we can see the potential values of the admin field. For this tutorial, I'm going to do an admin search on the database, and it will show me all of the administrations which currently have information in the SNL Part C database. I can then pick a particular administration, for example the UK, and then perform further searches to retrieve more detailed information on the SNL Part C database entries associated with the UK. For example, I can do the type search on the UK to see what type of data there is associated with the UK. We can see that there are Article 4 of Appendix 3030A, Article 6 and 7 of Appendix 30B, coordination requests and notifications that have all been received by the Bureau but not yet processed. If you click on the Data Summary button on the toolbar, it will launch a new Data Summary tab which shows us all of the key SNL Part C information associated with the data we have selected in the tree. For this example, I will choose the Coordination Requests of the UK. So we can see that there are a number of entries in the SNL Part C database associated with the UK and the two of Coordination Request type. If we wish to retrieve more information on any of these, we can double click on the Zip Folder icon here to download the associated data from the ITU's website. This ends the SNL Part C database browsing tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact us using the information in the description below.